Disney doesn't know how to catch the attention of her techie crush, Ijun. I brought my computer in to be fixed in a uh, shop where he was working. We're going to give her some flirting tips so she can make sure that Ijun will upgrade the relationship to the next operating level. We set this all up for you. You got three tasks. No so why don't we just start it off? Real simple, okay? First one, all I want you to do is to draw out a pretty rough blueprint of the entire office. Where the desks are gonna go, where the equipment's gonna go. Draw it on a piece of paper. Now, during this time, it's kind of very formal. I want you to knock something off the desk, drop something, and pick it up. A little cliche, but get them looking at the rear end. Just innocently, like very real. What's the second task? Second task is going to be going over to the computer, and I want you to like ask him to take a look at some of your model photos. You're trying to come up with the best headshot. All right, now while he's looking at you on the computer, this is my goal for you. I want you to pretend to take an eyelash off his face. Okay? You gotta break the bubble. You gotta bring him in. Like you're actually reaching out. So you don't have to be super physically close. And it can just be like, hey, and just kind of smile as you're doing, like, eyelash. Totally, it won't be awkward at all. Yeah, sure. I'll, all right, I'll like do that. that. Third task, really <laughs> great task. You're gonna take him over to these new swivel chairs. You're gonna be sitting around. You don't know how to work yours, okay? So essentially, I want you to look at him working his chair. Try to sit on his lap. So you don't want to scare him at that point, like, whoa, 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 whoa. He's here professionally. He's working with the software, but you need to be very unprofessional. You still got to get him to court you, to be pursuing you. If it feels right, maybe I'll give him a kiss. Sure. How are we feeling? Whatever you say, let's, let's get it started. We're getting it started by enhancing Esme's beautiful features so that she's ready to get down to business. Ijun is being brought by Mario, the mutual friend of Esme and Ijun. And for all he knows, he's here for some computer consultation. Ijun has no idea Esme is acting as our office manager, and that this whole thing is one elaborate trap. All right, right now is my favorite part of any love trap. It's the moment before her crust, Ijun, shows up. Mm -hmm. She's definitely nervous, drinking a lot of water. Mm -hmm. All building up to this moment. Let's see what happens. Hey, you too? Yeah, yeah, we spoke on the phone. Uh... <gasps> I haven't seen you in ages. Yeah. How are you? Uh... Do you know uh, Esme? Eugene? Yeah, yeah, how's it going? Like, uh, I met you at the... Uh, but I uh, came in with my laptop, <laughs> and yeah. now you're coming to me. You know what? It's kind of a rocky start. She made it sound like her and Eugene have some sort of connection that they've had for years. He's like, didn't we meet that one time? Yeah. Yeah, so essentially, man, I just want to get... We've got four workers, plus her and I, maybe an intern as well. I love it. This guy is rocking the comb over. That is the biggest side part I've ever seen. So essentially, what I want from you is just kind of like some expertise, if you will. Sorry, would you like a drink? A yeah. water? Right there, man. Sure. Yeah, Thanks. go for it. Yeah. She just offered him a water, which is great. Mm -hmm. Putting a little bit of attention on him, mm -hmm. keeping him hydrated. You know what? We got to get Nick and Mario out of there. Yeah. And see if the flirting starts to happen organically between Ijun and Esme. I've actually got to make a quick phone call, but what I'd love you to do, because she's our office manager, can you sit I'll with her? I'll take you through it. Take me, yeah. And we I'd like love, it. like, a blueprint of where you could see desks and stuff like that, and maybe where the equipment would go, like actual printer, fax, stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know. Sure. Yeah, he's being really professional. This guy seems like he's all business pretty reserved. Like, is he yeah. gonna respond at all to the super flirtatious task that I gave Esme? It might throw his game right off. All right. Cheers, see you in a bit. Do you wanna take a seat? How are you? Good. All right, finally Nick's out of there. They have some time alone. Let's see how this goes. Role so, reversal, I'm, you're coming to my place of work. I just started here. They just started, obviously, hence the uh, ladders and paintwork and everything. If you want to help with a blueprint, I'm sure you're more architecturally knowledgeable than I am. So do you I'm like your job now? Here? Yeah, yeah, it's great. <laughs> I mean, I've only recently started, and the boss, as you've why. met him, he's decent. Uh, it's good to see you. What's going on? Yeah, I actually had a, a funny little feeling. I. I might see you soon, so this, um... <laughs> Immediately, Esme went right to flirty. She's really laying it on strong, and he's yeah. still kind of sitting back in the chair. Yeah, dude, she better not use up all her flirt. Her flirt bucket can't her be flirt empty. Bucket. And actually, I was uh, talking to Mario, and uh, I, I guess we're busy with music and, music and stuff, so I don't know what uh, happened, Your but uh, I asked Mario that actually you with someone or something like that, so... No. No? All right, Ijun just asked Esme if she was with someone. Yeah. It's a great sign. He's totally yeah? interested. He okay. wants to make sure she's single. No, you you um <laughs> you made a bit of an impact on me. 
<laughs> There's no one else who I was... Oh, it's okay, she's facing him, she's leaning in. He's trying to play it cool, but I think he's getting a vibe that she's here for a kiss. Yeah, no, she keeps playing with her hair, which is good, but she's doing it all the time, and it's coming across as way too aggressive. Like, someone like you <laughs> with, with this package, I'm sure the guys are, like, like you know, like stalking you every day, kind of thing. He thinks guys are stalking her. Little does he know, she's stalking him. Her first task was to bend over in front of him. She didn't do that, but you know what? I'm seeing enough good flirting, I'll let it slide. Yeah. She's already a really forward person anyways. I think giving her that task, we kind of risked her actually doing it over the top. What are you wearing? I can smell you. <laughs> Did you see that? She's like smelling him. No. It smells good. Thank you. So right now he's doing the typical thing that a guy does. When a girl's really being aggressive, mm -hmm. a guy doesn't make eye contact. He's looking at the pictures. Yeah. He's staring at the computer. His computer's the only thing he's got. She risks this coming on too strong. They're definitely flirting. They're definitely yeah. feeling each other out. Okay. Her second task is to go over some of her modeling photos, show them the good stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, show them that professional look. Yeah. And see her response to that. Because right now things are kind of heating up. Can I um, ask your opinion on something? Okay, I've got some photos, so I just wanted to ask your opinion okay. on a few of these that were taken the other day. Oh, you look dazzling, as, uh, as I saw you last time. Pretty cool. Oh, that, uh, yeah. that's, a, that's a wrong light. No, definitely yeah. not. Well, he's looking at the photos from a very technical point of view. Whatever, <laughs> he's totally taking her seriously. They're getting closer and closer together, which I like. Like, you, you're born for this, I think. So much. Any other guy would have been on top of her in five seconds, but Ijun is totally withdrawn. And did she pick the right guy? Like she wanted a guy that was a little more intellectual, contemplative. She wanted a real relationship, not just some guy that just wanted to jump her bones. I have to go for just a minute. If you want to check them out, give me your verdict. I will be back sure. in just a second. Okay. Sorry. Uh, she's coming out. Did, did anyone here give her a signal? Like I didn't give her the signal. No, I didn't give her a signal. I don't know what's going on. Coming up, we try and calm Esme's nerves so she can get back in there. You know what is a bit of a blur right now? But could she get him to forget about her laptop so she can get into his lap? Do you like me? Okay. <laughs> Come on, Esme, we just barely met. 